Now, if you walked out here, there was FBI agents in that building. The Lincoln Station right there. There was two agents right there. Agents right there, and two of them turned around right here. I don't know if it was this pole or this pole's gonna replace smoking cigars. As soon as Annie Sage walked out, right here with the door, with her friend and Mr. Dillinger, the agent lit his cigarette, IDing Mr. Dillinger, and they took off this way. They were followed by the agents from here. He had noticed it, turned around, started pulling his gun out, took off this way as we're walking in a hurry sprint. And these streets were loaded with people. As he turned this corner right here, he's unholstering his gun. He took the first bullet, ran here, took another one, and literally dropped right here. And he caught another one in the head. Women, literally, and men took out their handkerchiefs before the, the media got here and started dipping their handkerchiefs in John's blood. And this is it. Here's the mural right here. One of the most famous spots in Chicago, if not the most famous spot. spot. carry a gun and wear a mask. Now that it's happened, I guess I'm just about the best bank robber they ever had. And I sure am happy, John Dillinger. Guess what? Now we have to wear masks. 2020, what a difference time makes. But that, that is incredible. The place where John Dillinger got whacked. I think Clark Gable started. But there's Millie's if you want to get Millie's. And that's where the other agents were stationed up there as cover, the old Lincoln station. 